Hey guys, so this video is going to be another video reply. I was supposed to make this video uh, yesterday, but yesterday was Canada Day, and I was at a party, so I couldn't uh, make the video, but I'm going to make it right now. So, uh, I'm replying to a question. I think it's on my next page. It was like the first unread question. Oh wait, no, it's this one. Okay, so Bad Lactose is saying, Howdy, first off, let me say that I love your tutorials. All are very helpful. Thank you. I want to know how I can color correct or adjust the curves of only one portion of a clip. Even if I split a clip into several parts, all portions of it seem to be affected by any changes to color curves that I make. My second question is, is there any way to save specific color adjustments so that I can apply the same changes to several clips? Thanks so much. Yes and yes. So, I'm going to answer those questions right now. Let me just drag in a clip here. I am in Sony Vegas, of course. Um... Okay, let's just use this one. Alright, so I have a clip here, and let's say that I want to uh, make color adjustments only to his face. So what we're going to have to do is do a technique called stacking, and it involves masking, so you can only do what I'm about to show you in Sony Vegas Pro. If you have Movie Studio or Platinum, what I'm about to show you will not work. So. I'm just going to duplicate this track by right clicking on the video track and hit duplicate track. Now we're only going to be working on the top track so just ignore the bottom track. So let's go to our pan and crop tool and in the bottom left corner have this mask checkbox enabled and now we can grab our anchor creation tool and just make a very rough mask around his face and or head I guess because I'm also getting his hair. Right now I'm not doing a too good job but remember this is only a tutorial. I'm not trying very hard. So there we go, we have our mask. It might be a good idea to feather it. So under path, feather type, hit both. And you can put this up if you want. It'll make it look a bit better. Now we can just exit this whole window. And let's go to our video effects tab. Go to color corrector or color corrector secondary. I'll just go to this one. And let's just drag a blue midtones onto the top clip. And as you can see, his face is now bluer than the rest of the video. And this is because we masked out his face and um, we put the effect on that mask and that's what the effect is. And I also sort of explained this in a different tutorial, uh, the face blur effect. We did almost the exact same thing except instead of doing a color corrector, we did a blur so we could just do this. And there you go. But that's not a really good... Uh, here, my preset. Okay, that looks a bit better. So, uh, speaking of presets, that was his next question. Um, he says, is there any way to save specific color adjustments so that I can apply the same changes to several clips? Okay, so let me just remove this top track here. So let's say that I go to Video Effects, and let's go to Color Corrector, and drag Reset to None, put it on the clip. Let me just uh, make this a bit bigger. And, okay. And alright, so all the settings are at like zero or default or whatever. So, and then we make all these changes, and they're so precise and everything, and we don't want to have to input these settings every single time. Like, let's say you're making a video that requires this effect um, uh, various times, a bunch of times, so, and the normal thing you'd have to do is uh, put reset to none on the clip and put the settings in every single time that you want to have this effect. But there's an easier way to do it. Uh, this is called making a preset. And up here where it says preset, there's this little text field here. If we click here, I'm just going to call this major purple. Because if we look at the preview, this is just lots of purple. Now we hit this little floppy disk icon here that says save preset. Now if we look here under the color corrector uh, category, major purple is here. And let me just remove this effect. Now if I want to have that purple preset on again, just drag it on just like I would with any other effect. So that's basically it for uh, masking. Well, that isn't a real tutorial on masking, just giving a basic overview. Uh, I still have yet to do a full tutorial on masking, which I'll try and get away uh, as soon as possible. So that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope I answered your question, Bad Lactose. If you have any questions, email me, send me a PM, comment a video, and I'll either write back to you if I can or make a video reply, which I'm trying to do right now. And, yeah, so, see ya.